Well, that's an unexpected gift. This is the Xiaomi Smart Air Purifier 4 Lite. I didn't order this thing, I didn't buy this thing. I have no idea if it's good or not and I actually am not familiar with uh, the competitions. I don't even know if there's like a non-light version or whatsoever. I honestly have no clue how to use that or what it's gonna be. Um, that what makes this video more fun, I guess. We'll try to unbox it and yeah, this is a giant thing. I'm not sure even where to put it in my room or how should I even use that? But hey, it is what it is. I probably will block some lights because honestly, I have no place in the room for this, but hey, uh, let's go ahead and try to unbox and see what the heck is this thing. So uh, yeah, this is the package and yeah, you cannot even see me, but that's fine. Um, so there are a few controls. First of all, there is some sort of laser or something that you're actually supposed to somehow open sometimes and clean, but mostly I have no idea how. Um, we're going to leave it as is. Uh, there is a LED light probably for when the power is on or not. This one should control the LED on the other side which isn't that convenient, I guess, but hopefully it will be okay. Uh, you've seen me open it uh, before and opening the filter, which we can throw those away. And on uh, the front, we have a small panel here for like screen that will show you the details of their quality. Um, I guess there's some probably mods, there's an automatic red, manual and night, and probably some others. Uh, there is a sort of power button here, at least according to what it looks like. I'm not sure I can view, show you that. And here's sort of a cycle button. They are looking like touch buttons. This whole thing doesn't weigh too much. I mean, probably like maybe two kilos or something. I honestly not sure. Anyways, uh, let's peel this one. Nice peeling. Let's go ahead and plug this. Now I know there's an app and you can connect it to Wi-Fi, which uh, makes me wonder if I can actually connect it uh, to the Home Assistant. And yeah, I'm using Home Assistant, but this is a video for later, not in the near future, sadly, because it's a whole journey. So uh, let me plug it and see how or what will it do. So it does beep and there's nothing on the screen yet. I wonder if we have something on the back. Nope, doesn't seem that way. Uh, we might need to press the power button here. Yep, pressed it actually two times accidentally. Uh, oh, you have a temperature, so it seems like uh, it's 28 degrees and 48 
I'm not sure what. Now this is their quality. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be high or low, if it's good. This is 47, my guess, humidity, and it's an automatic mode. Uh, it shows green, so I guess it's like an okay status or something. We can connect it to the Wi-Fi. We have this power button, and yeah, now it's off. Let me try to enable it. Okay, and we have a cycle of modes or something. Let's try, yeah. So from automatic it switched to night, and now it's on manual, I guess. Oh, oh wow. Well, that has some air to it. Let's switch back to automatic. So my guess is that the air in this room is kind of okay because it's 006. I'm not sure if it's good or not yet. And my guess it takes time till uh, this whole thing measures everything. And I'm actually probably will put this under the table here. It's not ideal, but it's close to the bed, which um, obviously you want uh, the purest air nearby. And it's also close to my computer, which well, sadly have a lot of dust around it. So, yeah, now I'm not sure about the app. I don't think that I want to actually set it up right now. Uh, it's the Mi Home, but I actually want to check if I can set it. Oh, so I do feel here some air. And from here, I feel nothing. I guess from here it sucks there and from here it blows. Uh, currently the room is closed and the air conditioner is open. So that's the current status. Oh, and now it's down to 005, which seems kind of good. Uh, the humidity, if it is actually humidity, is actually a little bit down. Temperature is, well, 27. Actually, I don't really believe it. Uh, it's much lower right now in this room, but maybe on this area or something where the temperature, I'm not sure. Oh, we also have a button uh, on the other side that you've seen. If I press it, it should, yeah. Now it's like on ninth mode of the screen. It's a little bit like uh, lower brightness. Now it's off and now it's fully on. And if you do it again, yeah. So yeah, there are a few brightnesses. I'm not sure if I can somehow set this to automatic. It doesn't seem to be very bright that it will cause any issues at night, but that's something I'll have to check. And I'm not sure if the green line here will ever change if we need to replace the filter or something. And how often do you need to replace the filter? But it seems to be pretty much automatic. You just put it and that's it. I'm not fully sure if I actually can control this uh, with the home assistant or what will I be able to control. We'll have to test it out in the near future. But for now, uh, that seems an interesting device and let's see how it will go. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, Click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one!